guys. Sitting here in the studio, getting ready to do my radio show. Uh, watching some hate week videos, Tennessee and Florida. It's getting me pumped up. You guys are good. And you all make excellent points. Uh, Rondo, BVD, and uh, ACP Carter. You guys all make really good points that, especially you, ACP, uh, that you're 2 0, you're ranked terrific. First time in four years, Rondo said. And I'm happy for you. But if you don't beat Florida, it goes to hell in a handbasket and it doesn't matter. That, that's exactly right. And I'm rooting for you guys because it's been seven years. It's been a long time. And I have no real bias toward Florida, no real bias toward Tennessee. So, in fact, I don't like Florida just because of Tim Tebow, really. I still can't get over how overrated that kid is. Um, so, go Vols in that one. I'm rooting for you all because... I would hate to see your uh, videos afterward, really. I mean, that would just suck to see that. And uh, Tin Man Boo, I just followed him, Gator fan. You made a nice Hate Week video, too. Props to you on the Gator side of things. Uh, I just don't want to have to see BVD uh, sing the Gator song again. And I have a question. Why do you refer yourselves to the boys are the squarest? You know being a square is a bad thing, right? Unless in Florida, it's just so uppity over there that they like being squares. I don't get the point of saying you're a square. But I think the Vols have the better quarterback. More proven receiving core, especially uh, Cordero Patterson in the first two games. Justin Hunter's bound to go off. I, don't, I haven't watched a ton of Florida games. I watched the Texas A&M game, and... For Texas A&M being a fresh Tennessee SEC team, they sure held their own against Florida, who has been the king of the SEC lately. And they are still Florida, even with uh, Sweaty Will Muschamp hanging around and without Tim Tebow. So we'll have to see who steps up. And I think Neil Fame is going to be the difference, because if those 100,000 Vol fans are as pumped as you three are on YouTube, that's going to be a rocking stadium, and I can't wait to watch it. I'm going to watch a game day. I want to see who Corso picks because I haven't seen him at game day live. I've seen videos of him at game day for Tennessee. Uh, he picked the Vols, but it was against Notre Dame. So it's going to be exciting to see. I I like to just see. I don't care really, uh, but I like to watch it. I, it gets me pumped for college football, and then they kick the games off. And, I mean, honestly, I'm more excited for that Tennessee game than I am the Duck game because the Duck game is going to be... Uh, destroy. I'm going to watch it, of course. I'm going to root for my ducks. Uh, but really, it's that that's the game of the week right there. Tennessee and Florida. And to see if Tennessee has really arrived. If Derek Dooley can get that signature win. And maybe if Will, Musk, Will, Will Muschamp can get that signature win in his second year uh, as head coach of Florida. That's going to be good to see. Great storylines in that ball game. Uh, we go up against Derrick Rogers this week, uh, Vol fans, and he's, I believe I said he's averaging about 20 yards a catch in the first two weeks. Scary, especially with John Boyette out now, so maybe you guys could give us some tips on how to cover him or what to do. It's just going to be, or what to expect as a fan, because I didn't watch him when he was with the Vols. But good hate week video, guys. i got to give you your props on that. Uh, don't really have a lot of hate week coming up until, uh, USC and, uh, Oregon State for us. Those are the only two teams we really despise. Now that, uh, Rick Neuweasel is out of UCLA, there won't be much hate week that week. That was, that was the main reason we hated UCLA. Uh, anyway, props to you guys. Go Vols in this week. Go Ducks, as always. See you Saturday.